All right, here's another green machine update. Get this done one of these days, maybe. So a couple things I did is, um, this is strictly for power to power the Raspberry Pi. No, I haven't mounted it. I'm actually gonna make a plate back here to hold the keyboard underneath the monitor. Um, that should work, hopefully. And then this is Ethernet to the Mesa 7i, Ethernet to the 7i92 that's in the box. That way, you know, my I.O. and stuff for the Raspberry Pi, like USB, will be outside and wireless. Won't be in the box. I guess I think this is the better solution. I uh, did a little bit of HAL work. Um, and I'll show you here. Well, here, let's boot this up so you can kind of see. So this is the Raspberry Pi. And it boots relatively quick. So I guess while it's booting, I can kind of explain um, so this has got a two-speed belt for the spindle. Um, so you can see it there. And I, I'm trying to dress up the HAL so it does everything that it, it can. Um, so I wanted it to automatically know which belt um, is selected. And because I have a spindle encoder here, the gear tooth spindle encoder, and I know what the feedback from the stumble drive uh, speed of the spindle drive is going, the actual motor, I can calculate the ratio. And so that's what I did, is I calculated the ratio um, and then if the ratio is, I think it's like 1.5, I change the scaling of the motor so that for Linux or for the program it doesn't care. Um, you select, no matter what pulley is selected, if you say I want to go S2000, it'll go S2000 no matter which way. Otherwise you'd have to either click something to get the, the ratio so that the spindle drive was spinning the right RPM to make the actual tooltip spin the right RPM. I don't know, that probably doesn't make much sense, but I'll show you here. So. I haven't used that icon yet. Hey, look at that, it worked. All right, so I gotta power up. There we go. And can, so a couple things I did is the stumble drive needs to find the index of the encoder so it knows how the, it's to line up the, the phases of the actual servo. So, most of the time it works just fine, but every once in a while if you like command like a 10,000 RPM and it hasn't found the index yet, it'll actually kind of get lost and, and then it like does an overcurrent or something like that. Um, so what I do when it homes, you'll see the spindle, um, it'll, it'll go at a slow RPM so that it can find the index. So it only does that while it's homing and homing the z-axis and it homes the other two axes and then you see i have down here low range and then at speed i hooked that up finally so i'm gonna load um a file it's actually just this but it's set for um 4, rpm so you'll see the at speed will drop out until the spindle gets up to speed. And you can see right now it's low range. It knows that it's low range. Um, I'm colorblind, but I know that's green for both at speed and um, low range. Then so you see it, it got to 4,000 RPM. You see it's low range. And so this, this RPM is actually right from the spindle encoder that's on the actual the little cartridge. 
so I know that that's right. So if I, if I then change this range here, can I do this with one hand? That is a good question. <laughs> well, these days I'll have a lackey to run my camera, right? Oops, that didn't work. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pause this. All right, so I changed the the pulley to the high speed and you'll see if I run the same program it'll still go to 4000 rpm I can find my mouse Let's do that. and the at speed works and it says it's not in low range um, it only can sense it while it's while the spindles running but and I could probably add some other logic but this seems to work um, seems to right at the point of the spindle starting to speed up it knows and makes the adjustment um, it seems to not be a problem so and yet speed works right now I have like a 200 rpm window plus or minus and that seems to work okay so so what do I need to do yet well I need to make the house the coolant control uh, enclosure um, the jog, jogging still works really well. Um, feed rate override. I kind of like this layout here. The keyboard being here, I can still get at the, the jog wheels and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I like Hal. Hal's pretty awesome. You can pretty much do whatever you can think of. Um, bunch of to make this work was some muxes and window comparators and um, sums <laughs> um, you could probably write a comp that would do this but hey all the building blocks are there you might as well use them um, so anyway I hope this uh, was understandable and uh, I guess talk to you guys later